Yo guys, what is up? Welcome back to the new video. I'm the Casual Racing Gamer. Today, we are going for a win in GT7. We are going for it. The week's coming to an end. Um, I just started a new account this week as well. So I, I wanted to put a win on, I wanted to put a win on my record. So on my last account, I, it started on my son's account and, and I, I got a little deep into the game. I had a couple wins and I was like, wait, I need to transfer this to a new account. I, I need this under my own. So I did that this week. And then I was like, wait a minute, I have a couple wins on my, on my son's account. Am I going to be able to get some wins on my own account? So I was getting kind of nervous. And I was like, as I start from the beginning, as I move up in classes, it's going to start getting harder and harder and harder. Um, so this time I, I was having some really good finishes. And I finished, finished um, usually at top three. I finished a lot of top threes. I started pole some of them and I kind of, I kind of blew it. I blew it on my own. Um, I spun myself out on some races that I possibly um, could have taken a win on. So the week was coming to an end. I'm moving up, I'm moving up classes. Things are going to get, start getting harder and rougher. So I'm like, I, I need to have, I need to have a win on my account. At least one, I get, at least if I win one and never win again, I, I got to have that one. What we did here was I'm putting everything into place that I've learned on the past couple of weeks. Um, if you don't know about the channel, this is um, a casual racing channel. It's different than other sim racing channels out there. And I, and I never claim to be the best. I always try to share tips that make me better and help me improve. And I get a lot of tips from you guys as well. So I always try to take those comments into consideration and it, they have, they've been helping me improve. And we're going to discuss it through this race, through this video of things that I have been using, that I've been learning over the past couple of weeks, because road racing was not my thing. Um, I did a lot of, um, in the past was, was a lot of iRacing and, and it was mostly, it was mostly, um, actually it was like 99.99999% of oval racing NASCAR stuff. So road racing to me was kind of new. Um, and, and it recently, since I had PSVR2 and GT7, I kind of made the switch over to road racing. And that's what I've actually been doing since. I haven't done oval since I got PSVR2 and GT7. And I, and I think I'm, a, I'm converted. I think I'm converted to a road racer. I, am, I, I do have to go back and try out some, some ovals now that I've been road racing. But things, things have changed. Things have been different. I've been really enjoying it. It's not something I thought I was going to enjoy. It's not something I, something I was able to, to think I would be actually be good at. Um, because as an oval racer, you know, you, you would jump into some kind of road track and just run a practice lap. And you're like, I can't even make it through one lap. I, I can't do this. And then you just give up, right? So here's the thing. If you guys are starting new um, in general with sim racing, or if you're starting, if you want to do did oval and you're intimidated to do road racing, um, I, I am living proof here that even if you're not great at oval, right? I was okay at oval. I wasn't great. But um, even if you're not good somewhere, at, like don't be intimidated. Don't be scared. Even if you think you can never do this. Um, I'm telling you, I used to not be able to complete one lap on a road track and I would just give up because I just was frustrated. So I stuck with it. Um, I've been doing Gran Turismo for weeks now with PSVR2 and, and this channel is all about improvement. Got thing, you know, guys that, that might not be pro, but I, I like the guys that are watching this channel, guys and girls that are watching the channel who have the experience, who offer great tips when they watch my videos. And like I said, I, I always try to use that um, in, in, in my, in my future videos to help me improve. And I'd like to share that with you as well. So this channel is about improving for everybody and, and, and seeing growth for me and for you. I love when you guys tell me how things helped you out as well. So this race, um, th this, this race right now is at Suzuka. And this is a great example of things that I've learned through the past couple of weeks, getting into road racing that, that I, that I put into action that helped me get to, that helped me get to a win. So I, I raced this in PSVR two. Um, but we're, we're, we're going to watch this together and we're going to react to it. And I'm going to share things that, that were going through my mind, things that I'm putting into place and different techniques that I've used that, that helped me improve in road racing. And we're going we're to hop into this. So I, you know, I, I blew a couple races this week, starting in pole. I spun myself out, being a little aggressive, getting a little excited. So, you know, I just took a little step back, calm down. And I'm like, if a win comes, a win comes. So let, let's hop into this. Let's check it out. So we, we, um, we started third here. Now the guys, the guys in top top one and two definitely had better lap times than me but you know run, running running your your lap times um in qualifying is way different than running your lap times in a race so you know you want to be consistent in a race you're not trying to be the fastest to me i always preach be the most consistent get through that track consistently around the same lap time and then you know if your lap times are consistent and guys are making mistakes behind you that's going to help you win if you can stay consistent and not make those same mistakes yourself so lap one, I always preach, don't, don't try to win lap one. So I'm in third place. Now I can be aggressive here and try to make moves and try to pass one and two if I have the opportunity. But generally for me, I'm not doing that on lap one. I just want to stick with the cars in the front. 
Um, I want to stay close to them. I want to see how they're driving. I'm not looking to pass them. I'm not looking to take them out. I'm always trying to be safe. I don't want to wreck anybody, myself or them. That's something I always preach. I try purposely not to wreck anyone. Mistakes happen. That's racing. But right now, I'm staying a little bit back. I'm letting one and two right now battle it out. Let's see what they're going to do. Are they going to actually start fighting with each other? Um, we had an overtake there. You know, now I have El Wero in, in front. I'm not, again, I'm not trying to move up and pass. I'm not trying to win this race on lap one. I'm just focused on staying, staying, staying on the track, keeping them in sight. I don't want them to pull away too far, but I also don't want to get too close where I'm going to start risking um, ramming someone from behind and, and wrecking. You know, we still have a lot of cars behind us trying to get us. The whole, the whole pack is behind us. So we, we got to kind of take it easy here. So we're going to let one and two battle. They're going to stay back a little bit. We're going to be a little aggressive getting close. If, if I have an easy pass, I'm going to take it. But at this point, I'm not, I'm not thinking I'm going to have an easy pass, right? So we already have C, um, number two here. Road Dog ha has, has a penalty. So we're, we'll be able to pass him as long as we stay close enough. Now, we don't want to get too close. We're going to wreck him or ourselves. So here, you know, I'm going to pull back a little bit. I'm going to let them move up. I, I'm not trying to stay too close on his tail, but I want to keep him close because I'm already thinking I got to make my move here in order to pass him. This is going to be a good opportunity to start battling for number one. Um, usually my first lap is, is going to be my slowest lap. And that's generally how it, all my races have been because I'm not trying to be fast on that first lap. I'm just trying to stay with the cars around me and just be consistent, um, but slow on that first lap, just getting a feel, warming up the tires. So right now I still have, you know, P1 in my, in my sight. P1 might get away from me because I'm not going to push it too hard. So I'm going to see how P1, and I got a little bump from the back, um, and we'll take a look at what happened. We'll take a look at what happened there. So here you can see coming into the chicane, um, he comes on my inside corner. So, you know, I have to turn down. I can't give it up there. Um, he just gives me no room. Um, I, I, it's kind of, it's a racing incident. I, I, I choke it up to a racing incident. Um, I had nowhere to go, so I had to kind of come in. He didn't want to give up a spot there. He was coming in hard. Um, and again, he was kind of, it was hard for me to see him. So I don't know, I can take some of that. I'll take some of that blame, it's okay. But we kept close here. He still had a chance at me. Um, but again, racing incident to me. I don't think he purposely tried to ram me. Um, because if he did, he could have just kept going straight through me and really knocked me out. So um, we're going to chalk that one up to a race and incident. Things happen. I, I find no problem with that. Um, that's just good, hard racing. So so that, now now we got it, right? So so that was kind of a racing incident. Uh, I feel like he could have backed up, but I, you know, I, I couldn't see him in my view. So, I, you know, I, it was kind of, it was a racing incident, right? We, we both, we both kind of clashed there. So I don't think he did that on purpose. I don't think he hit me on purpose. Um, things like that happened. Luckily, we both survived it. So, you know, now I'm thinking, well, that just gave P1 an opportunity to move up a little bit. And, you know, my, my thing is I, I got I to gotta start trying to improve now. So I'm going to try to push it a little, a little bit more because if P1 makes a mistake, I need to be close enough where I'm going to be able to pass him. So that's my thing is stay close enough if they make a mistake that you can pass them. But if you fall too far back and they make a mistake, you still give them enough time to recuperate and still keep that lead. So I'm trying to push it. But again, I'm not trying to overdrive it. I know what my I know what my limits are. I know I know where my where my regular consistent lap time should be, um, and it, and it's not you know obviously not where my qualifying time is. My qualifying is like a two twelve something, and and I know that's not where I'm gonna run consistently. That's me trying to really push it hard. So I'm gonna be off by like maybe like a you know two or three two or three seconds off of that, and that's where I want to kind of stay. That's where I want to kind of be. I know where I can be safely safe you know safe driving in turns and still run good lap times around it, you know, a 213, 214, somewhere around there. So that, that's where I'm looking to run. Now, P1 is pulling away here. And now some things that, you know, I'm, I'm putting into place in this race that, that helped me improve that, that you've heard in my past videos um, is, is, is number one is, is slow in, slow out. And it's something that we always hear and it's something that I've known for years, but it's not something that I've really put into, that, that I put into, um, into use. I, don't, I didn't really, you don't really know what slow in on oval is um, as opposed to road racing. You really have to, you know, slow down on a turn on some of these turns and you think you're slowing down too much and, and you're thinking like, well, if I slow down this much, there's no way I can run a good lap time. And then you realize, wow, I'm really slowing down, but I'm taking these turns so much better because I get on the throttle so much faster as, as, a, as I'm coming out and, and you're making up that time where you think it's slowing down but you're really coming out so much faster and hitting that throttle. So that is something that I've been really working on a lot 
and you can probably see it a lot in this race where you know i'm slowing down a lot generally where when i first started um road racing you know i would try to wait till the last second break as hard as i possibly can not control the car well and then not be able to come out fast so that's one major thing that, I, that i've been putting into into use in my own driving another thing was um using the whole track using 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 your using your 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 markers on on um on the actual roads those, those striped those striped lines that, that you know one of the biggest things was was told in one of my comments you know those are for know the way where to put your tires where you should be aiming for that's again that's not something as something that i wasn't road uh, road racing ever that's not something i considered but once you start thinking about things like that and you're aiming for those that they it's so helpful it so helps you improve on your turns coming into the apex coming out to the apex coming out coming out and everything it, it's so helpful so use the whole track use those lines aim for it go to the far outside go to the far inside use the track as much as you possibly can and that's something that has helped me improve like tenfold tenfold that has helped me improve like uh, unbelievably um, so, so we're, we're gonna, we're, you know, P1 is here, is still, still on our sight. We can still see him, so that's a good thing. We, he, we didn't lose sight of P1. So if he does make a mistake, and, and I'm always saying, if you be consistent and stay on the track, wait for others to make a mistake, put pressure on them because they can see you in your mirror, in their mirror. And that's the thing is always putting pressure on someone else and pushing them to make a mistake than you overdriving and making your own mistake. So here we're, we're rounding the turn here, um, lap three of five. And now I see, wait a minute. Oh, wait, P1 just went to the side. Wait, let's see what happened. Let's see what happened here. So you can see him go off road. His car gets thrown into the into the wall on the left. All right, so there you saw it. And big shout out to El Wiro. Um, you know, he, he, he went into the wall and I'm gonna give him a shout out because he raced really clean here. He stayed to the inside. He completely gave me the lane because he knew I had the speed. I was coming fast, and he let he let me he let me take the outside. So that's a big shout out. That that is clean racing, and I love seeing stuff like that. And and I guess the higher classes you get up to, the more you'll see things like that. But that but that that's a big um that's a big thumbs up to him. So I really appreciate the clean racing there, as opposed to him trying to block me and see me come in and trying to ram me. Um, so clean racing to me is, is, you know, number one, number one. So that, that's a great move right there. So I was able to take P1 right now. And again, I'm still using, I'm using all those concepts that I've been learning. And, and, and um, you know, again, make sure you're using your brakes really well. Trail braking is really important to learn um, in, in, in road racing. And I think you control your car as much with your pedals, with, with, your, with your gas and your, and your brakes as much as you do with your wheel. And that was something I've never realized until until I started trying to improve and seeing how I can get faster, is the car is controlled so much by your pedals. And that's why load cell pedals to me um, is one of the biggest game changers if you're gonna upgrade something and you don't have load cell pedals, even before upgrading your wheel to a higher quality wheel if you're using a budget wheel, is, is get yourself a pair of load cell pedals because a load cell brake is so important in controlling your car and, it, and that will help you improve um right there now right now i'm just you know focused on he he's he's back pretty far right now so i, I feel like i have a good enough lead and, and i'm focusing on running consistent my lap times are 217 to 214 to 213 so i'm around that that 214 ish so if if i can stay there and, and just be consistent on these next two laps um I, i'm in good shape i'm thinking i have a good enough lead don't overdrive it. Don't try to. Don't try. Don't try to hit my my. Li don't try to hit my limit. Don't don't try to push it. Don't push it more than I feel comfortable of pushing it. Just stay comfortable. Stay focused. You know, hit your marks. Hit your brakes. Don't don't hit your brakes. Don't hit your brake markers late. If anything, you want to hit them a little bit earlier. You know. So if I lose a little a hundredth of a tenth or something like that in my lap time, you know, I'm still good. I just want to be safe. I'm not, I'm not looking to to do anything crazy right now. Um, I, you know, the win is in sight, lap four or five. I got one more lap to race clean. Um, my distance is, is still nice. And, and I'm gonna I'm gonna throw another tip out here for you VR users that have also helped me improve in my own racing right now. And it was a tip left a couple videos ago, was when you're coming into a turn and you're hitting that apex, is start looking, turn your head into that turn, into that apex, and look down the way you need to go. Um, it was something I really wasn't doing, but now as I'm racing, like my head is turning, my head is looking down, my head is looking up as I'm coming out. And, and that's another thing that, is, that has helped me improve um, in, in the last like week or two, something that I've been working on. But again, you need VR for that. 
So that's a big thing for VR users is start looking in, start looking out. As you're turning in to that apex, look down, look at your mark, look look at that, look at the road. Then so as you as you hit it, look up where you need to go. Look at look at your exit, at your exit point. Um so so your head should be moving around like this, looking down. And it was an advantage that I never used as a VR user, but I've been using now. So that's another great tip. And you know, I appreciate all your tips of you guys leaving down there. Um, it has helped me out so much and hopefully, you know, it helps out other, other, um, drivers as well. And that's why I love sharing it in my videos, because like I said, I know casual racer here, just, just trying to improve wherever I can. I, I have no, no pro skill in here. I, I have no lessons. I have no, I just, uh, actually, I, I, I usually say, I don't know what the heck I'm doing, but I'm um, taking that one a little hot. So I got nervous there. I took that turn a little hot. I usually don't, I usually don't lose it on that turn. That's not one of the turns I usually lose it on. So I got a little nervous there. Now I'm still looking back. I'm looking, you know, how far is the car behind me? Um, and I feel like I still have a, co a comfortable distance where I don't need to push it. I can still be comfortable. Now I'm really like play it safe because one more mistake and he's going to be right on me if not take me. So now I'm like, I have to run the rest of this lap consistent. Take it easy. Don't try to push it too hard. Um, and I have a good enough lead to if, if I just run it the way I've been running it consistently. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to take it. So right now I'm feeling pretty good coming into the last couple turns. Um, I definitely, you know, not pushing it too hard, going to take it easy, but I don't want to slow down too much. I don't want to give him room coming into this chicane. There's so many times in the chicane where people will just ram you if they're too close because everyone breaks differently here and comes in really hot sometimes. So that's understandable. And that's, again, that's racing, but you don't want to be in that situation to let someone close enough to you at this point that he can ram you out. And then it's, you know, so, so you want to kind of be up there. And there we go. We took the win, my first win on my new account. So I was really happy and I was like, okay, now I can, now I can breathe. Now I can relax. If I never win another race again, at least I could say I at least took one um, GT7 win. But, but my goal is to win more, obviously. We, we, we don't want to stop here. We always want to get better. We always want to improve. Um, for you guys that, that might not um, be, for you guys that might actually be scared to, to, to race online in, in sport mode, um, hop into it. Don't worry about it. They're, when you first start out, a lot of the drivers are new here. They're not. They're not going to be great. So you're going to be with drivers in your in your same experience, your same level. Um, if you're if you're if your lap times are bad, don't worry. I usually start the week at terrible lap times, and and I just keep grinding. I grind, and it takes hours and hours and hours to to get to a good lap time. So don't be intimidated by that. You know, work your lap times. If you're really bad, like uh, usually when I start out. Um, I was at a two twelve something at the end. When I started out, I was at like a two eighteen or a two nineteen. Um, and I worked it up to a 212 something. So, so, you know, again, I preach, I preach, don't give up, keep going. Even if you're just a casual racer like myself, you can still get good. You can still get better. So hopefully this video helped you. Um, everything you guys put down there in the comments helps me. So I hope I help you as much as you guys help me. And I really appreciate everyone that watches. If you guys want to thumb up the video, if you enjoy the con, if you enjoy the content, and if you want to, um, you know, subscribe, I, I really appreciate it. Um, everyone that clicks that subscribe button, it means so much to me. So guys, we'll see you on the next one. We out of here. Peace.